In order to render music, Synfire needs to know the properties of a sound. This includes the kind of instrument, its playing ranges, controllers and articulations. For example, this phrase makes use of articulations. An articulation can be attached to any segment or symbol. You can also define custom controllers for each sound to automate musical expression. All this information is provided by a device description. If you frequently use sounds with elaborate properties, you should create a device description in advance, so you can conveniently browse and insert them when needed. Load an instrument plugin and populate it with a sound. Start a new device. This button jumps you to the device editor. Name your device and set a unique identifier. Please consult the Help Browser or User Manual for details. If all the sounds you want to use with a device share some common controllers, you can add them to the device. Every sound will inherit them. If you want these standard controllers to be reset to default values, you need to enable them. Do not yet make this a template, as we still want it to behave like a regular device while we are adding sounds. Select an instrument category for the sound. This will assume standard playing ranges, which do not necessarily have to match. It is important that you check the playing ranges.
Most orchestral plugins make the details for articulations immediately visible on the surface. You can easily transcribe them into Synfire one by one. Synfire increments the key switch with each entry, so it makes sense to add them in ascending order. You can immediately check if articulations are working as intended. Although this is a one-time effort, it can still be tedious. If Cubase expression maps exist for your sound library, you can import them in one go. Every sound inherits controllers and articulations from its device. Common articulations should be thus added to the device. Now the first sound is almost finished. You should always use the official name for a sound. Browsing for sounds by name will be much more intuitive later on. We have now created a sound description on channel 1. In order to keep it when we create the next one, we will copy the current settings to a sound bank. This sound bank will eventually include all sounds of the device. For the next sound, we simply start over and repeat the same procedure. When done, we will again copy the finished sound to the sound bank. This way it is possible to add any number of sounds to a template device. Once again, select an instrument category and verify the playing ranges. Open the Help Browser or Enable Tooltips to learn the keyboard commands for setting up a playing range. Unless articulations are the same as for the previous sound, you need to clear them first. Name the sound. Copy current settings to the sound bank. Now repeat the procedure for all sounds you want to add to the device template. I've done this already. We will skip this to speed it up. Now that all sounds have been added, it's time to make the device a template, save it, and move it to its place. Congratulations! Our device template is finished. Now let's have a look how the template device can be used in a new arrangement. 
Load an instrument plugin. The sound wizard creates a generic device the sounds of which you can add as needed. This icon opens the template browser. Here's our new template device. Pick the sound properties you want to add. Now populate the plugin with the corresponding sound. That's it. The sound is ready to use. If you want to use this sound also in other arrangements, you can save the rack module created by the wizard as a preset. The Rack Module preset is now in the library on the sidebar. Drop it on any instrument to create a new instance. If your instrument plugin supports multiple channels, you can add those channels to the device and add multiple sounds in one turn. Populate the plugin with any number of sounds on separate channels. Most orchestral plugins make the details for articulations immediately visible on the surface. You can easily transcribe them into Synfire one by one. Create a new device and add these sounds the same way you did before. Only use a new channel for each sound this time. I did so already. Here's the result. Each sound is placed on a separate channel. Save this rack module as a preset. The preset is now in the library. Drop it on an instrument to create a new rack module according to the saved settings. All sounds are immediately ready for use. Since these sounds are on the same rack module, it is easy to create a new track based on the same instrument and then pick the desired sound from the pop-up menu. That's all for today. Creating device descriptions can be a bit of a chore, but it's a one-time effort that will earn you a lot of convenience and productivity later on. Thank you for watching.